I remember my first introduction to black culture outside of my home and church. It was the day I moved into the dorms at the University of Texas. I attended the SNL New Student Lock-In hosted by the Multicultural Information Center. It was there I learned of civil rights trailblazers on my campus who haven't made it into many history books. They were people who would walk the same halls I would walk and face the same challenges I would face. I was first introduced to Heman Sweat, who was denied admissions to the University of Texas based on his race. His lawyer, Thurgood Marshall, who would later become the first African-American Supreme Court Justice, took the case all the way to the Supreme Court and won. Many don't know that Sweat and the University of Texas were chosen by the NAACP to challenge the separate but equal doctrine established by Plessy v. Ferguson in 1896. As a result, Heman Sweat became the first African American to gain admissions to the University of Texas Law School. In the landmark case Sweat v. Painter of 1950, the Supreme Court ruled that separate law school facilities could not provide a legal education equal to that available at the University of Texas Law School, one of the nation's best law schools. The Supreme Court ruling established an important precedent for the desegregation of graduate and professional schools, setting the stage for the end of segregation with the Brown versus the Board of Education four years later. Sweat never graduated from the University of Texas. The environment was too hostile and the cost to his family too great. However, he continues to inspire new generations of students at the University of Texas. There were times on a campus of more than 50,000 students, I never felt more alone. Sometimes I wanted to quit, but something about Sweat's journey and legacy would not let me quit. I did not feel like I had the right to quit. He and many others endured great adversity so that I could walk those halls and sit in those classrooms.